Hello everyone, this is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. Today we are doing a lesson about the past simple tense. So let's start. So, yesterday he walked to the train station. So here is the form of the past simple tense. He walked. So he is the subject and this is the verb. And so as a general rule, the general rule is that we use the past simple to describe an action in the past. So this is the past simple. And now let us look at the form, the positive form. I walked. You walked. He, she or it walked. We walked. You walked. And they walked. So if we look at this in more detail, then this is the form. We have the subject and then the verb in the past simple form. All right. Now walk, this is a regular verb and the regular verbs, we simply add the letters ED to the base verb. All right. So if it is a regular verb, we simply add ED to the verb. All right. Now let us look at the past simple form for other verbs because not all verbs are regular. So the spelling rules for the past simple form. Well, first of all, the easy ones are the ED. Sorry, the, the easy ones are the regular verbs like walk. So we simply add ED. So walk, walked, clean, cleaned. Those are just two examples. For regular verbs which end in a silent E, then we just add a letter D. Okay, we do not add ED because there is already an E at the end. Example, die, died. Close, closed. And many others. And for regular verbs ending in a consonant and then the letter Y, we change the Y to I and then add ED. Hurry, hurried. Carry, carried. So we can see here, we remove the letter Y and we change it to an I and then we add ED. And for other regular verbs, which end in a vowel and then the letter Y, then we simply add ED. It is just like a regular verb. For example, stay, stayed, play, played. And some more rules. For a regular verb, which has one syllable, and ends in a consonant, a vowel, and then another consonant, we double the consonant and then we add ED. So stop, stopped, plan, planned. So we see here, we double the letter N and then we add ED. If it is a regular verb, 
with more than one syllable and which ends in a consonant, vowel and consonant, then we double the final consonant only if the final syllable is stressed and then we add ed. So prefer becomes preferred and regret becomes regretted. And you can see here we stress the final syllable when we say prefer, we say prefer. So that is why we double the consonant and we add ed. It's the same with regret. With regret we stress the last syllable, the final syllable. That is why we double a consonant and add ed. And if the final syllable is not stressed, then we simply add ed. So, for example, transfer. Transfer, we stress the first syllable. So we do not stress the final syllable. And so we just add ed. We do not double the consonant. For verbs ending in a letter L, we always double the L and add ed. For example, cancel, cancelled, travel, travelled. Now this is a rule only for British English. Okay, so in British English we always double the letter L and add ED. But American English, we follow the rules above. So in American English, for a verb that ends in L, we follow this rule here. So we look at the final syllable to see if it is stressed. And if it is, we double the final consonant and then add ed. And if it isn't, we just add ed. So, example, in American English, cancel is cancelled and travel is travelled without the double consonant. And it is because the first syllable is stressed. Okay? So those are the rules. Now, irregular verbs. There are no rules really for irregular verbs. You just have to learn them, I'm afraid. There are no rules. You just have to learn irregular verbs and the form of the past simple. So here is a list of some very common irregular verbs. So very quickly for the pronunciation, break this column is the infinitive and this is the past simple form. So break, broke, buy, bought, choose, chose, come, came, do, did, drink, drank, eat, ate, go, went, have, had, make, made, run, ran, say, said, see, saw, think, thought, and many more. These are just a few examples. So every time you learn a new verb, look it up in the dictionary and learn the past simple form. Okay? 
the negative. This morning I did not clean my teeth. I did not clean my teeth. I did not clean. You did not clean. He, she or it did not clean. We did not clean. You did not clean. And they did not clean. So, in more detail, this is the form of the negative. It's the subject, followed by did not, and then the verb in the infinitive form. Okay, this is very important. This verb, this is the infinitive form, the base form. Okay, so this is the important word, did not, followed by the infinitive. So here, this morning I did not clean my teeth. This is wrong. Okay, this is the past um, simple form. But that is wrong because in the negative, it must be the infinitive form. Okay, that is wrong. This one is right. The infinitive. And we can either say did not, we can say did not, or we can say didn't. Didn't. This is the contracted form of did not. So, example, we can say, I didn't clean, you didn't clean. The meaning is the same, and we often use the contracted form in spoken English when we speak. The question form. Did you close the door? This is the question form. Did I close? Did you close? Did he, she, it close? Did we close? Did you close? Did they close? So, did the subject and again the verb in the infinitive form. So the important word is did at the beginning of the sentence, the subject and the verb in the infinitive form. And again this is wrong because this is the past simple form and we see here the question form must take the infinitive form. So that is wrong, and that is right, that is correct. Okay, so this is the question form. The verb to be, this is an exception. This is very, very important because we use this in lots of other verbs. So the affirmative, I was, you were, he, she, it was, we were, you were, and they were. So we can see, for the first time, the verb to be is the only verb where the form is different for each subject. Example. So we say, I was and he was, and all the others we say were. Okay, so that is very important. And the negative, I was not, or this is the contracted form, I wasn't. You were not, you weren't, he, she, it was not, or wasn't. We were not, we weren't, 
You were not. You weren't. They were not. They weren't. And the same. Here is what. These two take the form was. And the others were. The question. Was I? Were you? Was he, she, it? Were we? Were you? And where, well, sorry, and were they? So again, this is different as well. The verb to be in the question form, we do not say did. Okay, regular verbs, remember, we said did. But for the verb to be, we simply reverse the order of the words. So, I was is was I. You were, were you. So, we change the order of the words. Was and were. So, very, very important. You must learn all of these. So, when do we use the past simple? Well, the first use is for a completed action in the past. So, an action that started and finished at a specific time in the past. Last night, I watched television. I played football three days ago. So in red, this is the past simple. The past simple. And in blue, these are time expressions. These are time expressions which um, represent the past tense. So these are important. If you see these words, last and ago, then we know it is the past simple. And we can also say last week, last month, last year. Okay, so this is very useful. It's a very common expression. Last. And for a go, we can also say 10 minutes ago, 4 days ago, 3 weeks ago, a month ago, 2 years ago. Okay, so very, very useful um, expression. And of course, we can say yesterday. That is also a time expression for the past. And we also use the past simple to describe a series of completed actions. Today, I went to London, bought a camera, and then took some photographs. Okay, so we can see we have the subject, I, and then we have a list of completed actions, all in one sentence. And each verb is in the past simple. So this is the past simple of go. This is past simple of buy. And this is the past simple of take. So they are irregular verbs. And finally, we use past simple to describe a duration in the past, an action which um, lasts for a while. Sarah and David talked for two hours. Mark waited all morning. So again, in red, this is the past simple form. 
and here, past simple. And again, we have some time expressions. These are time expressions which describe a duration. And we can also say for three minutes, for two hours, for five days, for a fortnight. Fortnight is two weeks. Okay, two weeks. For two months. And all, we can say all day, all night, all morning, all afternoon, and all evening. So, with the all expression, look carefully, you can see that all of these words, after all, they are in the singular. So that is important. It must be in the singular when we talk about a duration in the past. And f for, it is often in the plural. Okay? When clauses. So, here is Mark and we are describing what Mark did this morning. So, this morning, number one, Mark woke up and after, number two, Mark shaved. Okay? And we can write at this in two different ways. We can say when Mark woke up, he shaved. That is correct. Or, Mark shaved when he woke up. So, these two sentences, the meaning is exactly the same. Exactly the same. Okay? So, what is important to notice here is the WHEN clause, this is the WHEN clause, and this is the WHEN clause. Um, we use the WHEN clause to describe the action which is first, because Mark woke up first. So, we say WHEN Mark woke up, he shaved. Okay, so the meaning we know that when we see this sentence, we know that Mark woke up first before he shaved. And the order of the words is not important. It doesn't matter. Here, again, Mark shaved when he woke up. This also means that he woke up first and then he shaved. So, the order of the words does not matter, but the WHEN clause, this happens always first. So, the rule is, if we have two clauses in the past simple, the WHEN clause happens before the main clause in time. And the order of the clauses when we write them, is not important. Okay? Exercises. So, I would like you to put the verbs in brackets in the correct form, using the past simple. Example. This morning I was late because I... to work. And the answer is, this morning I was late because I walked to work. Walked to work. So, 
question one. And I'll just give you a few seconds. And the answer is, last week it rained every day. Question two, and I will give you a few seconds. There are two verbs here. And the answer is, yesterday my children were happy because they went to the park. So, were and went. Exercise 2. Put the verbs in brackets in the correct question form using the past simple. Example. So the answer here would be, did they eat breakfast this morning? So this is the question form. Question one. And the answer is, was Mark angry with me yesterday? Question two. And the answer is, did I close the front door? And the last exercise, put the verbs in brackets in the correct negative form using the past simple. And I want you to use the contracted form. Example. She didn't go to London last year. Question one. I didn't read the newspaper this morning. Question two. My parents didn't like my new car. Okay, so that is the negative. Okay, so that is the end of the lesson. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Here is another video. This one is a listening exercise. And here is another grammar lesson. Okay. Thanks very much for watching. My name is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. Thanks for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye bye.